I'm Leon. This is Exotics Tropico with an X located in West Hollywood. Today I'm going to show you how to propagate a few houseplants, a classic houseplant but an unusual species. This is a Diefenbachia. This species I actually collected on the island of Dominica uh, around a volcanic crater lake. It's a little different but still a progenitor of modern Diefenbachias. This is the most interesting plant to propagate. First, we can cut a section of cane. Then we can realize that the cane is made into segments. Each segment can generate a new plant. So what we're going to do first is make a little uh, rooting mixture. We're going to mix some perlite some peat moss, some pumice, and a little bit of charcoal. This keeps the soil chemistry sweet. Let's mix this up. We can fill a pot with it. And then, this cane we can cut into a few sections. So this uh, little eye here is what will generate a new plant. So I'll show you one segment here. We'll just cut that. And we can lay this in to the pot with the eye facing up. Just barely showing. So you see the green. You're going to water that well. Keep it in a warm, bright spot, and this will generate a new plant. These I've grown from cane cuttings. Then here I have another unusual plant, but there's a common one. This is a syngonium. This is another species of aeroid. These are related. This climbs trees in Costa Rica. A common species is the syngonium. This is a rare syngonium. I've cut one of the big lianas. And this, we're going to make it into a stem cutting. This will produce many, many plants. So let's go one, two, three. We'll go three eyes on this. We'll make the same mixture, which is peat moss, perlite, pumice, and charcoal. The important thing is to remember what's down, the downside. So we'll simply insert this into the media. You can put a plastic bag over the whole thing, water it, keep it by a window, and soon more of these beautiful leaves will arise and you'll have reproduced your houseplant.